What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Herrick Tech coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! All right, we're going back to Judas Priest. Yes, indeed. Judas Priest fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Brett Byer, and it was also the winner of the Premier Tier Patreon Request Partization Poll, winning with 52% of the vote. Moving up to number 848 in the queue, straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. They all want to see me react to this. It is a song by Judas Priest called Metal Meltdown. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, <laughs> wait, 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 I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Judas Priest, surprise, surprise. And the video has 370,000 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Judas Priest Metal Meltdown official audio. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Yeah, there's that word official again, uh, coming off of their official page, so yeah, there it is. Look, you know what I'm gonna say, so I'm not gonna say it. All I'm gonna say is we're gonna just wait and see what happens and hope for the best. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Oh my god, I'm getting... I'm getting heavy metal vibes from Ram It Down. It even sounds like synth guitars. It even sounds like synth guitars. I'm getting serious flashbacks right now of uh, the Ram It Down album, the second track, I believe it was called Heavy Metal. I'm, I'm getting serious vibes with that right now. Uh, I hope it gets better. I really hope it gets better. Evil sounding.
hearing it just really accenting on the ride. Right, the ride takes over the snare work. <laughs> this, uh, what's happening is the drummer is going into a halftime feel. The whole song goes into a halftime feel. But while playing the halftime, he's got the ride going with the straight time on one and three rather than two and four. That's interesting. That's really interesting. I, I kind of like that. Um, It gives the halftime a chance to really establish itself and take control but just there's that reminder there's that little reminder of this is where we came from and this is where we're probably going to go back to is the double time feel so just ever so slowly almost subliminally with the ride i i think that's cool man i i really think that's cool um down 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 ba 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 we in a ba Hold on, let me let me check and see if I'm right about that. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> okay, let's see if I'm right about this. Um, okay, so where do I want to start? The main riff or the the verse? Uh, start with the main riff. The main riff. I believe we're in A. Yep. Uh, five, flat five. The three. Transit now. Here's the thing, it makes sense to go to B, but they might be going to C. Well, let me just No, they're going to B. They're going to B. I would should have trusted my gut. All right, so they're going to be. The flat two. <laughs> A little predictable. Five, seven, three, root. Yeah. It's okay. Is it complex? No, I, I wouldn't go as far as say it's complex, but I like the modulation. It definitely adds a layer of complexity to the song, but I'm not gonna sit here and say that that's complex because it's, it's I, guys, I literally just sat here and figured it out, figured it out. So it's not complex, but it does add a level, a layer of complexity to the song, which is nice. Uh, the riffs, not hard, but very effective. Very, very effective. Great usage of accidentals. Anywhere from the chorus with that five to the flat, five to the three to the one. I like that. And then the main riff, and then the, uh, the verse uh, with the flat two. From the B to the C, B. B five so root five seven flat three root again nice nice it's it's predictable but it, it feels good it sounds good it's getting the job done it's doing the deed and I got no problem with it um everything sounds good across the board guitar tone sounds good I am not gonna lie that intro scared the absolute hell out of me <laughs> it really did i was having serious ram it down flashbacks uh from uh the song heavy metal i'm like oh god here we go again now luckily we didn't we didn't stay there for long and we were able to move on into the song relatively quickly a lot quicker than heavy metal did i uh, god I, I just i detest that album that entire album i just absolutely detest it um Let's yeah, let's take let's use synth guitars. What a great idea. Hooray! If I'm being honest, I, I 
if it, if it were up to me, if it were up to me, I would just kill that guitar solos at the beginning. Just get rid of them. They don't do anything for the song. They really don't. Other than, I can't even say it's an intro because they're not even in the same key. Um, they're not in the same feel. They're not in the same vein. It just, it's, it's literally just, let me whip out my, let me whip out my ability. Hold on. Let me whip out my ability to solo. <clears throat> there it is. Check out the girth on that. that. That's what they're literally doing there. And I just, I don't get it. I, I thought they would have learned their lesson from Ram It Down, but clearly they didn't. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not thrilled with the solos at the beginning, but the rest of the song's been fine. I, I've dug the rest of the song. Uh, nice feel, nice drive, nice energy across the board. Very nice job. I'm digging it. Rob's vocals on this, not as strong as the other two I've heard, but it's strong. It is definitely strong. Just not quite as strong as like what I heard on Painkiller or uh, what was the other song I heard? Hell Patrol. Uh, not quite that strong, but it, it's strong. He's getting up there. So I, I, it's And when he does get up there, it's very cleanly done, very accurately done with a lot of power and projection. So digging that. Let's um, let's see if we can finish this out without pausing. What do you say? Definitely King Diamond vibes. King Diamond vibes from the vocals, harmonizing, especially with an ascending line. Da 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 da. Root flat two flat three flat two root. Yeah, that's yeah. With the harmonies, the the, the minor harmonies. Yeah, very. Very King Diamond, and then coming up, bah, with that glissando down. Yeah, that's so King Diamond. Very well done, though. Very well done, though. The King would approve, I promise you. He would indeed approve. He would definitely tip, tip the cap there, then go, yeah, I like it. So King Diamond, love it. the whole song like that my goodness that halftime feel ho ho i like it i did i did not number one i didn't see that coming anywhere i i can't even say that i i, I was i could predict no there was no predicting that that was nice that was dirty, man. Oh, yeah. Kind of wish that had happened more frequently through the whole song. Ah, uh, I, I dug that. The guitar solos. I talked about the guitar solos at the very beginning of the song, and I remember, I, I said, 
I, I feel like they're disjointed. I don't feel like it's actually a part of the song. No, I'm just getting warmed up. You hear the guitar solos that we just heard there, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. The guitar solos that we just heard within the song, in the middle of the song, that felt good. That felt like they fit the context of the song. Those guitar solos felt like they belonged. Compared to the guitar solos we heard at the very beginning of the song, uh-uh, no comparison, uh-uh. Those guitar solos at the beginning, they should be axed. Come after me. I'm a man. I'm 40. Those guitar solos in the middle, oh yeah. Oh yeah. They fit the context of the song. That made way more sense. And I'm not talking about from a placement standpoint. I'm talking from a style standpoint, a uh, technique standpoint, a delivery standpoint, a tone standpoint. That sounded like it was part of the song. Unlike those other two guitar solos that introed the song. No, they didn't intro. They didn't intro anything. They were, God, what a waste. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm still kind of geeking out over that halftime feel. Forget it. I'm going back. I want to hear it again. No, no, I don't care. Hey, it's my show. I want to go back. We're going to go back. I like. No, I didn't like it. I loved that halftime feel, and I want to hear it again. Interesting. Interesting. We had some highs. We had some high highs. And then we had some low lows too. I mean, it there were no lows. It was just low lows. So here's the middle. We had highs. We had really highs. We didn't have any lows at all. There were there were no lows, but there was some low lows though. So I don't know. I don't, I have no idea how this is gonna go. Uh man, this could go so many different ways. It really is gonna depend on how I weigh everything against each other. Uh oof. <laughs> it's rough. I need to think about this. Okay. Let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Judas Priest with Metal Meltdown. This was a request from Brett Beyer, and it was also the winner of the Premier Tier Patreon Request Partization Poll, winning with 52% of the vote. Moving up from number 848 in the queue, straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. This was a tough one. It really was because, I mean, like any song, there's gonna be highs and there's gonna be lows. E even within itself, there's gonna be things that are just better than others. But this was one of those cases where within the song, it, it wasn't just, you know, there were some very highs and there were some highs and there were some kind of highs. No, 
no, no. We had really highs, we had highs, and then we went all the way down. Just nothing in between. All the way down to the really lows. So, this was rough. Um, I had to really kind of think about things and put everything into perspective and weigh everything against each other. And that took a little while. But I do have a score and for Judas Priest fans, they're gonna hear this score and they're probably gonna lose their minds. I really hope they don't. I hope, okay, listen, you guys are free to lose your minds if you want, but I really hope you listen to my reasoning for giving the score I'm gonna give. I promise you, if you listen to my reasoning, you listen to my opinions, you listen to what I have to say, I guarantee you the score is gonna make a lot more sense. And it will definitely show you where I'm coming from, all right? So, having said that, let's get to the score, shall we? On a scale of one to 10, I am gonna give that a 7.7. .7. Yep, 7.7, .7. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first, a 7.7. .7. What does that mean? Well, a 7.7 .7 would translate to a really good scale rating, so I think it's a really good song, all right? I don't think it's bad, I think it's really good. Uh, I would also give it four to five stars, and it would also translate to a B plus letter grade. So there you go, a 7.7, .7, which equals a really good scale rating, which equals four to five stars, which equals a B plus letter grade. Now, how did I come to this score? Oh man, get comfortable, so glad you asked. Okay, this is my third song now that I've heard from the Painkiller album. Is it the Painkiller or is it just Painkiller? I think it's just Painkiller. So this is my third reaction to Painkiller. Um, and if I'm being honest, out of the three songs I've heard, this one's at the bottom, okay? Uh, it, 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 don't get me wrong, it's a really good song, okay? It is. Everything makes sense. Everything just across the board, everything sounded really good. Um, predictable, if I'm being honest. What, once you heard the main riff once, you were like, okay, I got it. You know, I, I, I got it. It's a, it's a predictably simple riff, okay? I did not expect the modulation. The modulation was nice going into the verses, going up to the B. That was cool. I dug that. Um, but even when it went up, you heard the riff, and you could almost, like, you heard the, the B to the C the, the, with the flat two, you could almost feel that it was gonna go down to the five, up to the seven, to the minor three, back to the root again. You, you could almost feel that coming. Um, so I wasn't terribly surprised by where it went after the modulation. The modulation was great, I liked that. A nice little surprise, but the riff that came afterwards, Little predictable. Same thing with the main riff, you know. Uh, boom, 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 boom. So root to the seven to the root to the five to the flat five. Get that dissonance in there, absolutely. And then the flat three. To that now we and when we in the second half of it, you go down to the five to the seven to the root to the five to the flat five, where we stayed to resolve back to the root at the beginning of the next phrase. So it didn't stay unresolved, but it ended unresolved, which was kind of ear catching. Definitely caught your attention without question. Um, Rob's vocals on this, don't get me wrong, he, he did a fine job. Uh, it was strong, it was projected, it was supported, it got up in register, absolutely. I'm not trying to dis I'm not I'm not trying to discredit anything he did, but if you listen to his vocal work on the other two songs that I've heard from the Painkiller album, I'm just going to say it, this is just my own personal opinion. I think the other two songs, his vocal performance was better and it was stronger and it was more impressive than this one was. It was dumb again. He didn't do anything wrong, okay? And he sounded fantastic doing it, but the other two, I just think were better. I, I just think they were stronger, more impressive performances. Um, 
I like the I like the little shout out to I, I know people are gonna disagree with me on this, but I heard it as a as a as a shout out to King Diamond with the harmonization uh in that bridge. I, I dug that. I really did, especially with the fall off at the end with that dual with that harmonized fall off. It man, come on, that is so King Diamond, it's frightening. Um I dug that little you know tip of the cap there. That was cool. Um the drumming on this, the feel on this, the play with feel on this. From double time, straight time, double time, straight time, to half time, where we came out of the guitar solos into that half time feel. That heavy, chunky half time feel. The highlight of the song for me, if I'm being honest. I man, when that kicked in with that half time feel, it got super heavy and chunky. Especially with the eighth note subdivisions that the uh, guitar players were doing. John, ja, 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 that, that man, I'm sorry, that 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 just doesn't get much better than that for me. I, I I loved it. Great subdivision work, super tight, super chunky, nice and thick without being muddy. I dug it. I dug everything about it. Um, those are all the highs and the really highs. Oh, and the guitar solos in the middle, definitely nice, fitting the context of the song. Everything that the guitar solos did in the middle of the song made sense, it sounded good, some nice technique being demonstrated, but most importantly, the solos added to the song. They contributed to the song in a positive way. Had no problem with the guitar solos in the middle. Let's talk about the really lows. There's really only one. The first 30 seconds of the song, about, roughly. Why? What was the point? It was, look, nothing that they played during those solos set up the song in any way, shape, or form. The guitar tone that they were using were those god-awful synth guitar sounds that we heard from Turbo and Ram It Down. Between those two things, the, the, the guitar tone and the fact that what they were playing added nothing to the song, didn't set the song up in any way we're in a completely different key from the song. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, folks. I felt my heart drop all the way down into my stomach and start to digest. Um, my soul practically left my body because I was suddenly filled with bone-chilling, spine-tingling fear that we were gonna go into something that sounded like it was gonna belong on Ram It Down. And I, I just wanted it to be over. I, I was like, if this is what we're gonna do for this song, number one, brace yourself for the lowest score in the history of Judas Priest. That's number one. Number, number two, uh, be ready to watch me pause the song probably about two minutes into it and go, I don't want to listen to it anymore. I, I've heard enough. I've heard enough of this garbage. I, I, I don't want to hear another note from this song. Luckily, that was not the case. Luckily, it was just a misguided, misinformed, misappropriated uh, guitar solo that had absolutely no business being in this song at all. Luckily, it lasted less than 30 seconds, I think, hopefully. Uh, it, it, it did nothing for the song whatsoever, but at least it wasn't a preface to what was to come. Oh, God. If the song had continued in that vein, I seriously probably would not have finished the song, in all honesty. I, people don't seem to understand how much I detest those two albums. They literally, the combined power of, or should I say lack of power of those two albums completely turned me off from any listening to Judas Priest anymore. Um, for years, decades, I listened to everything before <laughs> from Defenders of the Faith moving backwards. No problem, loved it, loved everything they did. Sad Wings of Destiny, Sin After Sin, uh, Point of Entry, British Steel, Screaming for Vengeance, still probably my favorite album from them. Um, 
I mean, it, 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 it just, I, I would listen to those albums over and over and over and over and over again. I wouldn't touch Turbo and I would not touch Ram It Down with a 20 foot cattle prod. I would never do anything with those albums. I wouldn't waste my time with those two albums. So that's why I stopped listening. And so when I heard those guitar solos, I was like, oh no. God, no, please, no. Please tell me this is just, this is just some mistake. And luckily it was. It has exactly what those guitar solos were, was a mistake. So, as, but there's the problem. It's still part of the song. Despite the fact it doesn't attach to the song in any way, shape, or form, I still heard it. So, it's part of the track. So I have to count it. I Without those guitar solos, we would be up in the eights. I don't know how far up in the eights we'd be. We might be at 8.2. We might be at 8.5. We might be at an 8.7. I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. But those guitar solos, they definitely lowered the score significantly. Out of the eights, down to the sevens. Is seven bad? No, seven's really good. But we could have had eights without those stupid, pointless, useless guitar solos at the beginning. So that's how I feel, rant over. I just, I had to get that off my chest because folks, you don't understand how much terror I felt when those two guitar solos kicked in at the beginning. Oh my God, my stomach and my heart just absolutely bottomed out and I, I, I could feel my spirit leaving my body. Anyway, 7.7, .7, it's a really good score for what I feel is a really good song. Um, in closing, before I wrap it up, I did check the queue. There is one more song. There, okay, there's there's like nine songs for Judas Priest in the queue, but there's only one more song from this album, okay? So, if you want me to react to more songs from this album, you better request them and request them soon. Because if I hit that last request, I, what was the name of the song? I had it right here. Leather Rebel, it's right there. If I if I get to Leather Rebel and there's no other requests for songs from this album, then I'm gonna close this album. No more requests from it, and I'm just gonna go listen to the songs because I really am kind of curious to see where the rest of this album goes. I loved the first two uh, songs I did, and I, I like this one, I, I really like it. I don't know if I love it, but I really like the other two. Uh, uh, Hell Patrol and Painkiller. Loved both of those songs, so. If you guys do want to see me react to more songs from this particular album, you better get in there and request quickly on the Patreon page. So that's it. That's all I needed to say. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow. What do you say? We got a 7.7, .7, which is a really good skill rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Take your pick. I don't care. Whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.